Have you guys ever just logged on to RuneScape one day after school or work out of habit and just didn't know what to do? Did you suddenly get tired of grinding that one skill for a month or tired of doing a whole bunch of quests just to unlock some new content? Me personally would answer yes to both of these questions and in this video I'm going to provide five of my own personal tips that I use to help me prevent complete burnout on old school RuneScape. I know this isn't the type of content I usually make guys but I do hope these tips can help you guys if you ever come across this situation. So with that being said, let's hop right into it. We're going to start off this video with setting skill goals and skill rotation for tip number one. This is kind of a two-in-one tip, but I felt that these complemented each other well enough and would go a long way in helping to ease the grind of progressing your account. Setting skill goals for whatever reason, whether that be quest requirements, diary requirements, or just to get your base stats to a floor level such as 70 or 80, can be a great motivator for you as a RuneScape player. By having a set target in mind such as 83 farming to be able to plant a spirit tree, or 72 thieving for the hard Ardone diary, it can give you a reason to do farming runs or spam click Ardone nights thousands of times. This is also where skill rotation comes in, since having different goals for multiple skills will allow you to enjoy these different skills skills that the game has to offer. But what about if you don't like skills that require spam clicking or constant running around? Perhaps try some of the more laid back skills such as fletching at the Grand Exchange, since you might even make some easy money while watching a movie or some twisted bow videos. Or if you're feeling dangerous, why not catch some salamanders by the Orania Altar? I honestly hate training Hunter up, but sometimes even training skills you normally hate and despise could provide relief from grinding out skills you might normally enjoy. This brings us to tip number two to avoiding burnout, and that is questing. If you're the type of player who loves playing video game campaigns and story modes, you will definitely like this one. Whether you like questing or not, quests are crucial in unlocking brand new content in old school RuneScape, along with new training methods and benefits. As a YouTuber, I'm always looking to finish endgame quests such as Song of the Elves and Monkey Madness 2, two quests that I'm looking forward to doing hopefully in the near future. Being able to do these harder quests comes as a result of grinding those skills up to meet the requirements, a reward for your hard work if you will. Now, how exactly does questing help prevent burnout? Well, for one thing, doing a quest is not a quote-unquote grind like training stats are. I personally see them as a gateway to new and better content, which will definitely help to prevent that repetitive environment that you're used to seeing while scaling. For me, that new content ended up being Vorkath from Dragon Slayer 2 recently, and although I've only done a few kills, it is a breath of fresh air compared to the other things I was doing before. On a side note, if completing quests is not something that interests you a lot, another alternative could be to try and complete achievements diaries. As I mentioned earlier, you want to be able to get something out of doing all that skill grinding, and achievement diaries are a great way of utilizing your stats as well as gaining access to task rewards and perks, which can make your future skill and grinds a lot easier. For example, the medium Ardone diaries grant you a 10% success boost for thieving in Ardone, while the hard Ardone diaries will grant you the same success increase across the entire game. Even a small boost like this can substantially reduce the amount of time you spend, training a taxing skill such as thieving, which definitely can contribute to burnout across the game. With questing out of the way guys, it's time for tip number three, and that is doing Slayer. Now if you're wondering why I didn't include Slayer in the first tip, it's because I see Slayer as a standalone skill, in that it's not a combat or non-combat skill in my mind, but rather in its own category. Slayer can be a great way to change up how you train your combat skills, but also a great way to explore different parts of RuneScape and come across unique monsters in the game. For example, instead of spending hours upon hours high alking to train your magic at the grand exchange hoping for some measly profit why not take that time and instead ice barrage or ice burst dust devils or neck reels through a slayer assignment not only will your wrist and fingers thank you but the xp rates can be extremely worth it in order to save valuable hours training your combat it's a great alternative if you're tired of leaving your account AFK in the nightmare zone for hours upon hours every day, just so you can train one combat skill. But for most people, getting a high slayer level is imperative to unlocking higher tier content that can make them a lot of money in the future, such as Cerberus or the Alchemical Hydra boss. 
And that guys brings us into tip number four, which is bossing slash PVMing. A major reason why people get their combat stats up is not just to unlock quests, but also to make bossing easier and less stressful. Bossing can be very rewarding, especially if you have a group of friends to boss or raid with. We all want to see that Banos chestplate drop from General Grador, the Elijah and Sigil from the Corporal Beast, or in my case, just the Vorkath head to finally get my Ava's Assembler. The dopamine rush of getting your first drop at God Wars or getting that Tumakin Shadow from Tombs of a Masket will extinguish any burnout you might have been experiencing lately. On top of the hefty loot you might get from bossing, the best part about it is the enjoyment you receive from coordinating strategies with your friends, learning new boss mechanics, and laughing at your buddies when they die from a simple error. All in all, bossing can be a great way for you to put your skills to the test as well as prevent yourself from burning out from the regular wear and tear of the game's grind. Before we get into the final tip guys, a bonus way that I prevent burnout on RuneScape is by making useful content for you guys. So if any of these tips have been helpful so far, or maybe sparked a new idea for you to take your account in a different direction, I would have really appreciated it if you guys hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, as that really motivates me to continue making new videos as often as possible. If you're a longtime viewer of the channel or want to be a bigger part of the community, be sure to check out the Discord link in the description. It's a great place to come hang out, suggest new video ideas, or just talk about life in general. With that being said guys, the final tip I have is to just take a break from RuneScape and do other things. In the Halo universe, there's a saying that Spartans never die, they're just missing in action. Well, that logic can be applied to RuneScape as well, since you can never truly quit the game. The probability that someone actually quits RuneScape permanently is the same probability that the Lakers have of winning the NBA Championship, or the Tottenham Hotspurs have of winning the Champions League in the next five years. But in all seriousness, guys, maybe the previous four in-game tips that I mentioned may all fail at one point in your RuneScape journey, and that is perfectly fine. I think it's safe to say that everyone watching this video has something else going on in their lives such as school or perhaps a career. If you guys take a look at my upload dates over the past year, you can see some pretty lengthy gaps in between videos and that's just because I was burned out from the constant grind of the game and progressing my account. Perhaps taking a break from RuneScape and diverting your attention to either school or your work might do you some good. If not, maybe try watching some sports or pick up a new hobby such as knitting or cricket. Regardless, slowly but surely, the desire to come back to OSRS will start to build up and there will be a time, be it a few weeks or a few months, maybe even a few years, that you will eventually log back on once again to face the many challenges that the game has to offer. And guys, that brings us to the end of this video where I provided my five personal tips on avoiding burnout on old school RuneScape. I really hope that I was able to help you guys in any way possible, even with one tip. But most importantly, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did not experience any burnout from this video, please be sure to hit that subscribe button and the like button and let me know down in the comments if you want to see videos like this in the future. I would definitely love to brainstorm some more ideas for this type of content. I hope you guys take good care of yourselves and until next time, guys. Peace.